These instructions are designed for use by trained professional only. Untrained persons should never attempt to diagnose, modify, or repair home heating equipment. Please reference the danger and warning statements on the LP gas conversion instructions before proceeding with the LP conversion process. To perform this operation, you will need a variation of the following tools, an LP conversion kit, two adjustable wrenches, T25 and T30 torque screwdrivers or driver bits, number two square screwdriver or driver bit, a Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver, and a combustion analyzer to complete the process. Included in the LP conversion kit are the following, an LP Venturi, installation hardware, a blower O-ring, a gas valve coupling, a rating plate label, a service label, and printed LP conversion kit instructions. Please note that this LP conversion demonstration does not apply for Aspen Model 110 boilers installed above 2,000 feet or Aspen Model 270 boilers. In order to complete the LP conversion process, you will need the LP conversion kit instructions as well as a copy of the Aspen's installation and operations manual. If the manual is not available with the boiler, you can view the manual online at www.usboiler.net. Before starting this operation, disconnect the power supply to the boiler as well as the gas supply. First, remove four square screws from the Venturi access panel on the right side of the boiler jacket. Disconnect the harness from the rectifier module on the gas valve. Disconnect the tube from the air proofing switch. Then, using a wrench and a backup wrench, disconnect the flexible gas pipe from the gas valve at the flare fitting. Remove the two screws connecting the gas valve to the Venturi assembly. Remove the three screws connecting the Venturi assembly to the blower. Be sure that the O-ring between the blower and the Venturi assembly is in place. Replace the natural gas Venturi assembly with the new LP Venturi from the conversion kit. And be sure that the arrow on the Venturi is pointing upward. Secure the new LP Venturi assembly back to the blower using the three screws removed earlier. Verify that the coupling between the Venturi assembly and the gas valve is in place. And then reattach the two screws on the gas valve. Reconnect the flexible gas pipe to the gas valve. Reconnect the harness to the rectifier module on the gas valve. And reconnect the tube from the air proofing switch. Turn the gas supply to the boiler back on and check for leaks. This is a critical step which must be performed before reconnecting the boiler to the power supply. Before attempting to start the boiler, Turn the throttle screw clockwise until it stops in the fully closed position. This should be several turns. Turn the throttle screw counterclockwise with the exact number of turns shown in the LP conversion kit instructions. The number of turns will depend on the boiler size. Follow the steps in the installation and operations manual for starting the boiler and then perform a combustion test to ensure correct boiler operation. The test must be performed in high and low fire. This instructional video has been provided by U.S. Boiler Company as an educational reference for our installing contractors and boiler service professionals. Be on the lookout for additional instructional videos in this series. Thanks for watching.